Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. In the landscape of aerial warfare, the emergence of the A-10 Warthog marked a pivotal shift, born out of the shortcomings observed in prior tactical aircraft development. Post-World War II, a lull in the evolution of conventionally armed attack aircraft in the United States persisted, leading to a focus on high-speed, nuclear-capable designs like the McDonnell F-101 Voodoo and Republic F-105 Thunder Chief. As the nation embroiled itself in the Vietnam War, reliance on the aging Douglas A-1 Sky Raider while possessing commendable payload and loiter capabilities, revealed vulnerabilities to ground fire, resulting in substantial losses. The A-10 arose from a determined drive to transcend these limitations, placing emphasis on augmenting firepower and performance over its predecessor. Its very framework was meticulously engineered around the formidable 30mm GAU-8 Avenger rotary autocannon, bolstered further by a robust design featuring 1,200 pounds of titanium armor, fortifying the cockpit and critical systems against adversity. This deliberate engineering prowess not only facilitated its survivability, but also enabled operations from shortened runways in close proximity to combat zones, coupled with a maintenance-friendly design tailored for minimal facility dependence. As we delve deeper into the A-10 Warthog's capabilities, it becomes evident that its prowess extends beyond its robust framework and firepower. To truly appreciate this formidable aircraft, we must now shift our focus to its integral components, starting with the meticulous process of A-10 gun installation. Let us explore the intricacies of this vital system, examining its functionality and readiness for the demanding missions it undertakes. Subsequently, we'll explore the intricacies of A-10 ordnance loading, shedding light on the meticulous procedures involved in arming this aircraft for the tasks it's designed to excel. As we dive into the heart of the A-10 Warthog's combat capabilities, it's crucial to understand the arsenal at its disposal. This remarkable aircraft boasts an armament that epitomizes its fearsome reputation. Armed with a 30mm GAU-8A Avenger rotary cannon, boasting an impressive magazine of 1,174 rounds, the A-10 stands ready to deliver devastating firepower. Beyond its cannon, the A-10 features a versatile array of hardpoints, with a total of 11 available strategically distributed on both wings and the fuselage. So this is uh, obviously the business end of the 30 millimeter. Uh, here are the rounds right here. So this is the, uh, the, the casing uh, for the round. And these are actually, they stay within the gun because uh, if you were to spit these out, like a lot of times other guns will, uh, so much ballast and the center of gravity of the aircraft will come off so much that you have to keep it in. Um, a normal combat burst is what we call it. It's a two second uh, squeeze. So with the gun spinning up, that's around 112 rounds for uh, two seconds. With the amount of rounds that we have, which is 1,100, I guess about nine trigger pulls of useful, uh, I guess, combat damage that we can provide. These hard points carry a formidable payload capacity of 16,000 pounds, offering a range of munition options. From rockets, 
including the Hydra 70mm APKWS and Hydra 70 rockets, to air-to-air -air missiles such as the AIM-9 Sidewinder and formidable air-to-surface AGM-65 Mavericks. The A-10 is a true force multiplier in the theater of operations. The A-10's versatility shines through with the capacity to carry a diverse array of bombs. This extensive range of munitions allows the A-10 Warthog to adapt to a wide spectrum of mission profiles with unmatched precision and firepower. As we unravel the multifaceted capabilities of the A-10 Warthog, it's essential to acknowledge the critical role played by the pilots who operate this remarkable aircraft. Before embarking on their missions, A-10 pilots undergo rigorous preparation and loading procedures to ensure they are ready for the challenges ahead. Yet, the A-10's versatility extends beyond conventional airfields, as demonstrated in exercises like Northern Strike 21-2, which saw modern military aircraft touch down on U.S. public highways designed for automobiles. This historic event marked a milestone in U.S. aviation history, showcasing the A-10's adaptability in emergency situations. It's worth noting that when such highway landings occur, they are not in violation of any laws, as the pilot's primary mission is to protect life and property. However, the utmost care must be exercised to prevent harm to those on the ground. These low-altitude approaches serve as a signal to drivers below, urging them to clear a path and ensure a safe landing. While we've explored the A-10 Warthog's impressive combat capabilities, it's equally crucial to delve into the meticulous maintenance routines that keep these robust machines in peak condition. The heart of the A-10 lies in its power plant, featuring two General Electric TF-34GE100A turbofans, each generating an astounding 9,065 pounds of thrust. Maintenance of these engines is a meticulous task, often requiring careful inspection and, in some cases, even engine removal. The structural integrity of the engine mounting is scrutinized for any cracks, no matter how minor, as they can propagate over time and lead to severe consequences. Skilled maintenance personnel leave no room for error, ensuring the engine's well-being. In instances demanding significant maintenance, the A-10's engine is carefully removed and sent to a specialized facility called the Hush House. Here, a comprehensive array of maintenance tasks is undertaken, including performance evaluation and the replacement of any faulty or worn components. This meticulous process ensures the engine operates at peak efficiency, a critical factor for the A-10's overall performance. One remarkable feature of this aircraft is the modularity of its systems, allowing for the swift replacement of major components in the event of damage. Take, for instance, the entire wing structure, which can be replaced efficiently by lifting the aircraft into the air and unfastening its damaged wing. A new one can be seamlessly installed with the aid of a lift. This modular approach not only expedites the repair process, 
but also ensures that the A-10 can return to operational status with minimal downtime. Such foresight and design allows for concurrent repair efforts, where the damaged wing can undergo meticulous repair. At the same time, a replacement is swiftly integrated, ultimately optimizing the aircraft's availability for critical missions. Recent years have witnessed a contentious debate between the Air Force and Congress regarding the fate of this rugged attack plane. While the A-10 earned its stripes with distinguished service in close air support roles during the Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts, concerns have emerged over its viability in modern, high-threat environments such as those posed by nations like China with advanced air defenses. The Air Force has long sought approval from Congress to retire the A-10 and allocate resources towards newer aircraft. A request repeatedly denied until the fiscal 2023 budget was approved. The gradual retirement of the A-10 has already begun, with plans to reduce the inventory in the coming years. The rationale behind this shift lies in the evolving nature of warfare, where the Air Force envisions the need for versatile aircraft capable of fulfilling multiple roles in contested environments. This transition reflects the changing dynamics of modern conflict and the imperative need to adapt to emerging threats. As we shift our focus from the A-10 Warthog to another noteworthy aircraft, the Embraer EMB-314 Super Tucano, also known as the A-29, emerges on the horizon. This Brazilian turboprop light attack aircraft represents a remarkable development of the earlier Embraer EMB-312 Tucano. The A-29 Super Tucano has garnered attention with its versatile capabilities, equipped to carry a wide array of weapons, including precision-guided munitions. Its primary design objective was to offer a cost-effective solution for operations in low-threat environments. Beyond its Brazilian origins, Embraer has extended its reach by establishing a production line in the United States, in partnership with Sierra Nevada Corporation to cater to the export market. This collaborative effort highlights the A29's appeal to international customers seeking a capable and cost-efficient light attack aircraft. With a glimpse into the performance characteristics of the A-29 Super Tucano, we find an aircraft well-suited for its intended roles. Capable of reaching a maximum speed of 370 miles per hour, and maintaining a comfortable cruise speed of 320 miles per hour, the A-29 exhibits the agility and versatility required for its missions. Remarkably, it can operate at a stall speed as low as 92 miles per hour, showcasing its ability to execute precise maneuvers when needed. Further enhancing its capabilities is a commendable range of 830 MI, allowing for extended mission durations. As we conclude our exploration of the A-29 Super Tucano, we recognize the aircraft's strategic importance. Embodying a cost-effective solution for operations in low-threat environments and maintaining its appeal to a global audience through collaborative production efforts. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.